Interesting question up next. Uh, this one says, my priority one and two workouts tend to take a good deal longer than my priority three and four workouts. And completing them usually means I have to cut into my sleep. If I have, for example, nine back off sets to do for my squats on priority one, uh, could I move three or four of those sets to my priority three and four workouts? Uh, the difference in time doesn't seem that big, but because I take the bus, if I stay late, it can be significant because of the bus schedule. What do you think is best, staying late for the priority one workout or moving a bit of work to the lower priority workouts? Um, well, there's a number of ways that we can tackle this. Uh, first is to keep doing what you're doing and stacking all that volume in on the main day. However, that's looking like it's untenable in the long term. So let's focus on your, your other remaining two options. One option is to do exactly what you said and just manually take a little bit of that volume and spread it to the other, uh, the other training days. And that would be perfectly fine if that's what you wanted to do. Uh, and it, in honesty, it might be worth giving that a try a little bit uh, to see how you like it. Uh, it might be something you like, it might be something you don't like. And then the third option would be to try to jump into the training group that mirrors more of what we did in this year's Project Momentum. Uh, it's got the very high frequency. So in a Project Momentum style training group, you don't get so much of these, um, these really, really high volume days like you're seeing right now. That's more distributed out across, uh, across the training week. So each day you'll have a baseline amount of volume in the classical competition exercises, uh, but it's only you know, three, maybe four relatively easy working sets. So to just to give you an example, you might have to squat uh, three sets of five at 75%. That's not terribly hard by itself, to be honest, you know. Um, but if you do that every day, you can stack up an appreciable amount of volume. And then each day will also have emphasis items. So while you may only have three sets of five at 75% for your competition squat, that might get followed up with pin squats uh, done heavier for higher volume. And then don't forget that you'll have uh, bench work and then deadlifts at the end as well. Now, it sounds like a lot, and it is a lot. However, since there's fewer overall numbers of sets, you can get through more exercises uh, in, in a similar amount of time. What I found when I was doing this was that the workouts were taking me about two and a half hours and I had to be focused. I had to be about my business. Um, that was uh, much more evenly distributed than when I was doing other protocols. When I was doing other protocols, I got the same experience that you're having, which is some workouts are really long, other workouts are really short. Uh, doing doing the project momentum style training, um, the workouts were much more evenly distributed. No, none was all that much harder or easier than any of the others. Um, I had to be focused, I had to be about my business, I had to, to move from one thing to the next thing and not stand around and talk very much. Uh, if you stand around and talk very much between exercises, it can really drag out and take too long. So let me know what you wanna do. If you want to just manually distribute it out for a little while, see how you feel, see how you like it, uh, that's perfectly all right. If you want to try the Project Momentum style, just let me know and I'll drop you into the Project Momentum style group. Um, either way, ne neither change is really permanent. So if you did either one and didn't like it, uh, we could have this conversation again. So just let me know.